Welcome back everybody to another workout. Thanks for joining me. Today, our workout is called Jump to Plank. We're gonna be doing 30 seconds of jump rope activity, various types of footwork for the jump roping, and then 30 seconds rest, and then 30 seconds of a plank activity and 30 seconds rest. We're gonna go through this one time. It'll be a total of 12 minutes. We'll take a break in the middle for 30 seconds, an extra 30 seconds. Uh, to be able to get a drink of water and just take a moment to catch our breath before we get back into it again. Now, some of you might have a jump rope at home. If you do, that's great. Grab it, have it ready for you. If you don't have a jump rope, which I won't be using the jump rope today, you can pretend that you have a jump rope. Just use your arms as you would if you were to have a jump rope in your hands. Behind me, you can see that I have a trampoline back there. I'm going to be using that. As I mentioned before, I have uh, hip issues and uh, jumping is not one of the things that really helps it feel very good. So I'm going to be on the trampoline, but you're gonna be doing the exact same things that I'll be doing, just doing them on the ground. So I'm gonna lay the jump rope right out there. I've got my water bottle ready for when our break starts and I'm gonna get our timer going. And then we will, we've got 30 seconds till our first activity and we're gonna start with jumping. And our first jumping activity is going to be just regular jump roping. So if I was on the ground, I would just be jump roping with my feet together. Some of you might do two hops between each rope like you learned when you first started jump roping as a kid, or you can jump single jumps every time the rope goes through. But our feet are together and we're just jumping straight up and down. So here we go, we got five seconds till we start and we're gonna get through this first 30 seconds and I'll show you what the plank is. Here we go, 30 seconds. If you don't have a rope, remember you're imagining, pretending that rope is there and using it every time. Pretend to try and use your timing as if that rope were going under your feet. Nice work, keep those feet together. Remember, uh, focus on your balance. You wanna try and stay in the same spot the whole time. Don't wanna move around too much. This is just a simple jump. Nice, nice way to warm up in this activity. We got three seconds left. Nice job, now we've got 20 seconds of rest. Actually, we're not going with 30 seconds rest, we're going with 20 seconds rest. We're gonna do a high plank. And the high plank will just be holding a push-up position. No high mountains, no low balance. Here we go, 30 seconds, and we are up. Great job, hold that plank position. Make sure your hands are directly beneath your shoulders, that your bottom is down, and that your back is flat. I like to suck my belly button up towards my spine and really tighten my core as I'm doing this. Keep holding it, keep holding it. If you get a little tired, just put your legs down a little ways, but I bet you can make it all the way through the 30 seconds. Push yourselves. All right, 20 seconds of rest. We're going on to the jump, jump rope again. I'm going on the trampoline and we're doing what I call the teeter-totter. So I'm going left foot to right foot and notice that my feet are spread about shoulders width apart and then we'll switch to right foot and left foot. Here we go. And 30 seconds. Left foot out front first. And we're teeter-tottering, keep that rope going. And your feet have to be on the floor at separate times or the rope's gonna get caught in there. Five more seconds and we'll switch. Nice job, right foot out front. Keep going. And remember to keep your breathing steady. Sometimes we do activities like this and we forget to breathe and we get done within 30 seconds and we're just simply gassed. Gotta remember to breathe the whole time. All right, nice job, that's 30 seconds. Okay, now we're going back to the mat and we're gonna just do a regular plank. Right down on our elbows, like we've done in class many, many times. Those of you that haven't been with us yet, we do a lot of planks during our opening routines. Okay, we got five seconds till we start and we're on our elbows and a nice straight controlled plank for 30 seconds. Again, if you get tired, just set your knees down for a second, but try to push yourself, try to make it all the way through the 30 seconds. What you do with your arms is up to you. I like to have mine in a little bit of a triangle pose. Some people like to put them straight out. Whatever works best for you. We got five seconds left. Keep holding it, keep holding it. You got it, keep going, keep going. And that's 30 seconds, 20 seconds of rest. This time, we're gonna jump sideways. One foot on each side, shoulder width apart. I'm gonna jump left, right. Alternate sides as I jump. 
Okay, here we go. It's just a right, left, right, left. Jumping each foot every time. Here we go. And 30 seconds. Get that jump rope going. Nice work, everybody. Now, today, I don't know if you can tell where I'm at. Those of you that are in Harris, you may not recognize this, but this is the drum gym. I've done a couple other videos in here so far this year. But um, hopefully I'll get over to Narrowview and do a few videos from your gym. I'm not meaning to leave anybody out or not include you guys, but uh, sometimes it's easier to be right next to my office and do these things and be able to put them onto the computer. So keep going, nice work, that's 30 seconds. Okay, we are going to go bird dog planking. So what bird dog planking looks like is I'm down on all fours and I'm gonna lift my right arm and my left leg come back down, left arm, right leg. And we're just gonna alternate those. Here we go, 30 seconds. Lift, down, lift, down. Again, make sure that your back isn't arched too much and try and suck your belly button up towards your spine. That'll help tighten your core muscles. Keep going, we got 10 seconds left. Opposite arm, opposite leg. It's really a balance activity as well to keep yourself from falling over. Great job. That's 30 seconds. Now we've got an extra 30 seconds right now to take a little bit of an extra break because we're halfway done. So get that water bottle. Get a drink of water. Keep yourself going. We've got 30 more seconds. While we're resting for a moment and you're maybe stretching out or walking around and getting a drink, if you were to jump rope 10 minutes every day, there are so many things that could do for you. One of those things is that it burns calories and it burns calories a lot faster than walking or running does. I'll tell you more about that in a minute. So our next activity, we're on the jump rope again and we're slalom jumping. Just like I was skiing down the slopes, going over the moguls, here we go. Side to side, keep your feet together, just like side hops that we would do in class. Regular little side hops, don't jump too big. You don't wanna make your rope have to work too hard. Keep that jump rope going. We're not just jumping, we're using our arms too. Try and be controlled with your hopping so that your side to side isn't too big, too far apart. You want them nice and close and controlled. We got five seconds, keep pushing, nice work. All right, we're back down to zero, good. We're going to walking planks. These are the planks where I start in an up push-up position and I go down to my arms and back up. The next time I go down, I'm gonna go down with the opposite arm. All right, we got five seconds, here we go. Keep pushing it, you're doing great. And here we go, down, up. Now I'm going down with the other arm, up. Other arm, up, opposite arm, up. Keep walking it, we got 15 seconds left right now. Again, I know you're pushing yourself, but if you get tired and you find this to be a little challenging, just put your knees down on the floor and do the same thing, kind of like a modified push-up. We're almost there, keep going, last one. Good job, 20 seconds rest. Okay, this time, instead of jumping side to side, we're gonna jump forwards and backwards, okay? Same thing as we did a minute ago with our feet together, but this time we're going front to back. Catch your breath, here we go, three seconds. Get that jump rope ready, front to back. Great job, everybody. We are three-fourths-ish of the way done. Maybe we're a little closer to two-thirds. Yeah, the math isn't working right now. Keep it up, keep jumping front to back. Control jumps. Nice work. Keep going front to back. And that's 30 seconds. Okay, back down to the mat. We're going to plank, reach and rotate. So it looks like this. I'm in an, a high plank position. I'm gonna reach and rotate, reach and rotate. What helps is to have a wider base with your feet on this one. Okay, here we go, 30 seconds of reach and rotate. So I'm gonna reach up with my left, rotate my body, rotate with the right, rotate with the left. 
I'm really reaching to the ceiling and looking up over that back shoulder when I rotate. Try to keep your bottom low. Try to avoid getting into a mountain position. We got 10 seconds left. Nice job. Our next jumping activity is gonna be regular jumping jack feet. Nice work, that's 30 seconds. Here we go, we're on to the jump rope again. As I was saying earlier, jump roping, if you did it for 10 minutes in a day, it helps develop brain power too, and it can improve your bone density. Here we go, three seconds. And jumping jack feet. Sorry, I started to do side hops. Jumping jack feet. So not only is jump roping good for your heart and your lungs, but keep that jump rope going. It's also good for our brains, because you have to work on coordination. You also can develop some good quickness and agility. They can help you in other areas of sports that you might participate in. But 10 minutes of jump roping every day can work wonders. All right, good job. That was 30 seconds. This is our last activity. These are called plank toe touches. So I'm in my plank position, but I'm gonna reach back with my left hand and touch my right toe back to plank. Right hand, left toe, back to plank. Here we go, five seconds. We got this, this is the last one. You can push through. Here we go. Left touches right toe, back to plank. Right touches left toe, back to plank. Left touches right, plank. Come all the way back to a flat plank before you go to the next toe touch. And really tighten your core each time you come back down. And squeeze, and squeeze, and squeeze, and one more, and squeeze. Woo! Way to go everybody, we made it. Nice job today. Thanks for joining me again for another workout. <laughs>